Hi, this is Colvin Tips from Plaster Ceiling Roses. I'm now going to tell you how to do a stop end. Okay, so for a stop end we need two external mitres. This external mitre we're going to use on the wall. Imagine that's your cornice running from an external. And this external mitre we're going to cut to create the stop end. You have to be extremely delicate when cutting. We are going to cut square from the bottom edge to the top edge, leaving an external mitre. Nice and gentle so the cornice doesn't collapse. Again, don't worry about any chips or any dents, they're going to be filled in when we actually fill the cornice. And this is the piece we want to use. So, when we're going to fit the uh, stop end, we want to come away from the wall, I'd say about 25mm, just to give a separation between the cornice and the external wall. Then we have our piece of cornice up, with the top edge being at that 25mm mark, and then our piece, our stop end, will be bedded in with some adhesive, just like so, and filled.